Hello and welcome back to Hollow Knight. I'm Avon and in this episode we are going to see if we can find and maybe defeat the first boss. I like the way we start in this game, sitting on the bench and loading the game. So let's go down into the cave now and see. In the last episode we got a quill. So I I'm hoping Ah, it already filled out the places we've been. Okay, so he drew them in from memory, I guess. So let's go to the places we haven't been now. I'm going to go right and then drop down to see if we can get into the boss right now. bit excited about that trying uh, a real boss because when we met uh, a normal mob that was a bit larger enemy we took a lot of damage so it might be difficult I wonder what happens uh, if we die in this game That was nice. Hitting the spike so it uh, bounces into the ground. I wonder if we can um, use that to damage enemies. So this is the place we walked past the other time instead of dropping down. I wonder Let's see, there should be an exit on the right somewhere. Oh, okay. We can't get in here. So, let's go this way then and drop down after. Trying to collect as many coins as we can on the way as well. It looks like... Um, the shop is going to be very useful for uh, getting the marks on the map. As we expand the territory we travel, it might be really useful to know where everything is. Oh, ow. I like the healing mechanic as well. It's slow enough to not really be useful during combat, at least if the uh, thing we are fighting is quite fast. Does he have anything new to say? Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself, with just your own thoughts, you forget the niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why, as soon as I could, I moved to Dearthmouth with my wife. A huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little luck, we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I will be safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very hard to listen to the singing and not start humming myself. Oh, what's this? No. Hello. Two more. That was quite hard to dodge, actually, already. It's fast when they first attack, but they seem to wait a long time between attacks. Or they just wait until... Uh, oh, 
Okay. Until they know they can hit you, I guess, or they can see you. So we have to go right to get to the boss. Let's see what happens if we just zone in here and check the map. We did not get it on our map. Maybe we need to explore it first. Let's remember that and um, go back here later. Let's see. Okay, top door. Oh, wow. What's this place? Hello? Oh, it's a bench. Ah, <laughs> That looks so nice. Sitting on the bench. Peaceful. It seemed like the water gave soul. I'm going to use some just to check. It did, yes. Very nice. So this is like a healing fountain. And it was marked on the map as well. Now then, let's get back to finding the boss. It looked like the other way, where we couldn't uh, go, was unlocked from the other side. There was a lever there. Lever. Lever. So we'll um, probably unlock the shortcut before we enter the boss, in case we die and that's going to be useful. I wonder if there's any point in destroying uh, old statues and background things here. What's this? No. Mm. Yeah, like I said, I'm not very perceptive, so I have to. Try to find as much as possible. Okay, we can't get back up, I guess. Or. No, I don't dare to try. Those worms are a bit scary. Let's see. I could jump across. It looks like we ended up at the same spot anyway. We just need to keep going right, I guess. I said, and then I went upwards. That's a strange sign. Maybe it's a shop. Or a bench. Yes, another bench. What's this? A tall machine with a symbol of a stag. Insert Geo. Yes, sure. Toll machine. That's used to open a gate. Okay. I wonder if it's timed or if it's permanently open now. Oh, hello. <gasps> Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of the station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years, and I've forgotten much. The sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch the depth, depths of Hallow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. So this is a fast travel network. I am going to try it for science. <laughs> I'm 
I'm glad I did. That's nice. I wonder where I am now. Now let's see. Okay. Can't get out there, I think. Maybe this is the place uh, all the way to the right of the town where we need a key. Oh well, we'll ride him back and <laughs> get the nice cutscene again. Yes. close. It's so much fun playing games like this. In the beginning you unlock mechanics and learn how the game works. Let's see, I think I hear one of the worms in the glass. Okay, glass cages? I don't know. So this is the shortcuts. Yes! That's very nice. We are just below now. And. Well, then, that's too scary. Need to focus and go where I was supposed to go. But I kind of want to find the. Kind of want to find the worm that made the sound, if there was one. Now then, this should be the hall to the boss, and there is a mini boss here. Hello. takes a lot of focus. It's hard to talk while fighting in this. Nice. We didn't take damage there. That was uh, better than the last round. Jumpy dude. A charge dude. That one was different from the other ones. I think it was a bit faster. Seemed like it. Now then, this looks a bit like a bus room. Or oh, maybe it isn't. It looks a bit bigger, actually. <laughs> this is actually a bit scary. Whoa! Scary indeed. False night. Don't hit me. Just jump. No. Don't use the maze. Boom. Okay. Shot away from that. Oh, wow. Oh, he fell over. Hello. Whoa. That's. That's very strange. I guess that might have been the soul. Seems this chance to heal. I'm not sure what to say about this, really. Okay. Phase two, I guess. Of the fight. Oh. I hope we get some sort of dash. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but. Really. 
area again in a minute. Oh! No! I guess we have to follow him. I feel a bit sorry for this guy now. I'm not sure if I should though. Achievement unlocked. Let's see. City crest. And a dead ghosty wormy icky thing. Okay. Oh, and the chest. Hello. What, what are you on all about? Hello? I'm not sure why I'm hitting this one now. Oh, money. Oh, where did we need to go from here? It looks like there is a shortcut to get out to the left, but I'm still a bit curious about the rolling thing here. He seems to have leave le left though. Leave. Torches that are lit. It looks like someone might be living here. Oh, a big entrance. Is it a house? It is. And there is a bench. We can rest here as well. Oh, who's that creeping out of the darkness? My, you're looking grim. A strange empty face and a wicked looking weapon. Something important has drawn you into Hollow Nest's corpse, but I won't ask what. Perhaps the reason you have found me is because you need my help. Snail Shaman. Uh -huh. Say no more, friend. I'm going to give you a gift. A nasty little spell of my own creation. It's just perfect for a little one like you. Ho ho ho. Oh. Vengeful spirit. So it uses some of the healing power. I oh, would Hello? Did you lock me in now? Ah, you've awoken at last. I apologize. Perhaps I should have warned you about the power of that spell. I was watching over you as you slept, but you see if it's... But seemed to have slipped away myself. <laughs> now we're awake. I was wondering uh, whether you would do me a small favor. Just as repayment for my gift, of course. Simply because we're now friends. You see, a horrid great beast has made its home in the heart of this temple. Such disrespect. I would be quite grateful if you were to venture deeper in and slay it for me. It's hardly... It's a hardy creature, but with your new power, you're more than a match for it. Good luck with this small favor, my friend. Ho ho ho. So, I'm not sure if... He actually is very friendly, but I guess it is a nice way to teach us about the spell as well. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's... He got fried. That seems very strong. Then we can hit stuff to refill the meter. That's a new enemy again. Rolling one. Did 
Jeez, I wonder if those are the ones we're supposed to practice the spell on. I don't think so. There's probably something bigger and more scary to me. Fried. Oh. I'm not really sure if I like those flying thingies. It's a bit hard to... Oh, wow. Okay. It's a bit hard to hit them in the air while not using, uh, losing uh, the momentum or sense of direction mid-jump. Oh, it's him. Hello. I know you. Yeah, I'm out of soul now. What do I do now? Ah, he makes enemies for us too. That's a nice mechanic. So it's a ranged attack we can use to defeat those. Soul Catcher. Equip a charm to activate his powerful abilities. Charm menus while resting on a bench. Hello again. Ah, so it's done then. You've slain the beast. Yes, I have. Poor thing, it must have been terrified of you. Oh no. It used to be quite docile, but the runs in the area in these caverns filled it with some ancient rage. Still, you did what had to be done. You have my gratitude. Of course, we both know you wouldn't have made it th uh, through without a spell of mine. <laughs> no, but I wouldn't have been locked in there without you either. So I'm not sure if I appreciate this. And look, the gate between us is opened. I'm sure you're eager to move on. Farewell and have faith. Whatever you're seeking, it will find you. Oh. <laughs> so now let's rest and put on the charm. Used by shamans to draw more soul from the world around them. So when we punch enemies, we uh, gain more soul. That's nice. At least since we now use it for both healing and the spell. Oh, that was nice as well, a shortcut to get out of here. So. Lever, 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 lever. Oh, we're at the new place again. Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirthmouth and purchase a map of this area. Available now for an excellent price. So is this a new area then? No, this is where he was before. Okay. So let's see what they have for sale now. We have unlocked a new spell and... This means we can access uh, a new area, the place where the other armadillo looking thing was blocking our way. Oh, I like that spell, it's powerful. This is the wrong way again. First of all, I am going to stop by the larvae, the um, glass caged ones, because I have released at least one after I was the last time. Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. Oh, there he is. Hello. Twenty coins, so they pay us for rescuing them, I guess. There might be something else happening if we rescue enough of them. Hmm. 
now we should also see if we can find the quick travel place or if we can find a key to open the door on the right here. Hello. Ah, <sighs> You don't say. So, we have a lot of money now. Hot spring. Those are most likely the places that we fill the soul. Stagway is quick travel, vendor is shopkeepers. Cocoons. I don't know. It might have been uh, the thing we beat before, just at the beginning of the game. Benches. Well, probably be nice to find. Stagways will be nice to find. And... You could use this color to remind yourself of a hard of hard won battles. Maybe it shows well let's buy it and see if it shows us places we have defeated a boss. Oh let's not fry the shopkeeper. Now what do you have to say? A young couple's just recently taking up residence in the house beside the station. Seems like they're running a map shop which may excite adventurous types like yourself. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to take a larger house, especially given they're all empty, but they like the look of that one. The way she has to bend just to get her, get through the door, I wouldn't put up with it myself. I don't think I would either. It's, um... I don't know. It's nice to be able to enter the house without um, bending. So I think this is a nice stop to end this episode before we set out on a new adventure. It's a nice place to, to sit and rest until the next one. So, until the next one. Bye bye.